I'm not the only one thinking this anime is a bit spooky, right? Like, it's not me just being a little bitch, right? Like, throughout the anime, I thought this might be a little cute, wholesome, not wholesome, but a cute slice of life show where there may be some horror elements, but near the end there with the reveal, like, that was actually kind of spooky. I have some high expectations and I hope it continues to scare me. Let's begin today's reaction. It's her room and there's a bunch of frightened ghosts that's all sealed into these dolls. <laughs> it's like a torture chamber, man. Hmm. So like, this is the ghost that we got from the phone booth and we take it home and they just get destroyed by other ghosts here? Mm. There's something up with this kid too. No, it was revealed that he loves being in fear, being terrorized. Like he lives for that shit, even though maybe subconsciously, like he suppresses it. But that smile near the end of the last episode, what was that, man? And like, they're all wearing gloves. Yayoi said that Keitaro's hand, there's something sealed there. So I'm gonna assume the girl too wearing double gloves. Like she's got some special shit too. They're not really like going into too much of what the gloves are for, but Yayoi did mention something about it last episode. Yeah, what was that smile? What the fuck was that? Is she just super sadistic and wants us to be in constant fear? But he loves that shit. It's a match made in heaven. No, not these kind of road trips. <laughs> Adventure where people fucking die. Do you have to get exercise? Here we go. We're actually going to the glove stuff. Who exercises? He got cursed a long time ago. I'm going to assume she also got cursed, or why would she wear gloves, right? Maybe it's just a red herring and then there's nothing special about her. His grandma is here? Hair? He's got hair. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, oh, this is creepy looking. Oh. They grow longer. What the? They cut them away. That's what the sword is. What the fuck? Actually creepy. Give me goosebumps. Like, ugh. Hmm? Wonder what Yayoi yeah, thinks. Smaller, as in like the curse. <laughs> Granny's such a sin <laughs> Like, hmm. <laughs> Grown ass woman beefing with the child. Oh, that's the hair stuff. Maybe. Maybe we should take that. We should, like, make it into a doll. It is kind of creepy, but what, what, what would happen if we made it into a doll? Be some kind of voodoo charm? Memorial. We have a lot of dolls. Oh, we have a lot of dolls, but. Lock the way. Dangerous dolls. Now we're talking. Hey, let's go down there. Maybe the spirit responsible for the mom is down there. Probably not, but worth looking into. Mm, it's gonna start moving and shit. No, 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 no. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't trust these cute looking dolls. They're gonna start twitching and shit. What was that? It's almost as if he got possessed there, right? He sounds totally different. They die. They never come back. Possessed, so we got possessed. What was the doll doing outside, though? Ugh. She's not phased at all. It was just fun, casual story to her. But hey, Keitaro definitely got possessed. Why was the doll doing outside? What? Why? Hello? Guys? It's interesting because the doll we saw from his perspective was a cute little animal doll, but it's actually a kimono doll. Uh are we going to take the katana? Yeah? Okay. 
so cool. And she has a crowbar too. <laughs> this is a third grader. This is the basement, right? With all the dangerous dolls. Just take all these home. Yeah, he has a bunch. So now he's stuck down here. Hmm. I wonder how that doll got outside though. I thought it was sealed, but it was just a random doll on the street. Hmm. Why is the hair going up his mouth, man? <laughs> what is this? Ugh. Oh, why you gotta show me the fucking in like the inner perspective, bro? What? So far, it's not too scary. This is gross. Okay, but we didn't go. It was just a random doll outside. Why? Yayoi, I think that's her shoes. Yeah, there's the katana. But cut the short like the the, the hair, right? <laughs> Come on, save us, third grader girl. Yo, that's durable hair. That doll again. How? It disappeared. Oh, okay, I see why she did. I see, I see why she did. She just like leveraged it and then she like stepped on it to cut the head off. This girl is super strong. Last episode, too, we saw how strong she was. Supernatural powers? Maybe all the dolls are gonna get terrified of her now. See, all the eyes are like not glowing. We should take him home though. Add him to our collection. Well, oh, they actually came down here. I thought it was super dangerous. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this little kid did all that. You should be thanking her, Granny. Hey, whose fault was this? Why was there a doll there? I guess this episode was kind of more to... More for him to like... Empathize her with the whole mom story. But also realize that, you know, she's not really dangerous. She is dangerous, but like she's on our side. Right? Okay, I think we're bonding. This took a little bit of hair up the mouth to work. Bye bye. Are they still beefing? She's still beefing with her. <laughs> I guess it's just because, you know, she senses that cursed energy. Yeah, she's a good kid for sure. Sometimes terrifying, but hey, hey, she's out here to save us. First student ever. <laughs> hmm? I think that's a little bit of a blush there. <laughs> to sense the spirit, but also to see them is totally different things. I wonder if he'll ever be able to see and fight too. <laughs> Maybe Granny will be an important character in the future to help us fight. <laughs> I don't know. Look at her. I don't know. She gotta worry about her back. Oh, the is this the this the seven Jizo statues, right? Eiko's just happy for Keitaro to get closer with you know Yayoi. But I really wonder what Eiko's like end game is. Is she just here to see you know Yayoi uh Keitaro get all scared? Is that where she derives her pleasure from? I think so. Mm, the room is scary. The room is terrifying. This is like a... This is like a torture room. What's with these glowing eyes? And they're always just shaking. That's one of the terrified things when the doll starts shaking like that. It's like twitching. Yeah, we should get the fuck out, man. This is not a fucking third grader's room. Huh? What do you mean? They're all her friends. 
It's a nice collection. <laughs> oh, we got a new friend. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, it's a souvenir. No, we don't. We don't tell Grandma that. She 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 won't know. <laughs> huh? I I guess that's a good excuse. Yeah. Nah, Yayo is built different. The hair. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's actually kind of creepy. We so like she she we didn't make a voodoo doll with it, but like. Oh, dude, that picture is. Oh, I don't like that shit. Something about that just makes me so. Uh. They really save all the creepy shit for the end, huh? Last episode too. They just backload all the fucking really gross, creepy shit till the really end. I thought we made progress today, you know? Oh, yeah, yo is not so bad after all. She's a kind girl. I just want to look for her mom. And then we realize she has a fucking torture room of all these spirits. But wouldn't Keitaro subconsciously be drawn to Yayoi and all these different things? And I still don't know why she wears those gloves. What's up with that? Eiko doesn't really care, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, totally normal plushies, uh-huh. <laughs> Does she really not get it though? Something is special about Eiko too. I just don't know. Or maybe she's just actually ignorant about these things and she has no idea. But the fact that she has those glows make me think that she's also special. You'll protect us, right, Yayoi? Uh-huh. <laughs> Who's really the bad guy here? I don't know. Stay with me. <laughs> Gimme what? Huh? I I'm gonna assume Gimme Nails is gonna be the same kind of idea as, you know, collecting those, what are their hairs from his hands to, you know, to add it to the doll. He she, she basically wants different, like, body parts, nail clippings, hair, fucking spit, teeth. I don't know. All this shit as to do what? I don't know. This shit's fucking creepy. I'm still more interested in Eiko, though, because they're really hiding what she's about. She seems to be just this normal bypasser that's just like driving us to different places and she can't see spirits, but it can't be that simple. The way that she was looking at Keitaro the last episode, maybe it's just the fact that she likes to watch him be scared and she gets like, she gets off by that, or she's actually super important because the gloves are either a red herring, meaning it's just a distraction, or there's actually something more to that, but we'll find out later. But hey, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.